Hey guys, it's Meal, and today we are going to be watching Raiden Shogun's character demo teaser. I feel like I just watched her character teaser, so this- <laughs> What is this, deja vu? Starting off with a raven- Oh, and Ayai Miko, wow. In the land of the Narukami, centuries pass without change. Deep in the heart of the city, stands the lofty abode of the Raiden Shogun. Where are you she going, buddy? upon her realm, at mortal joys wow. and woes, and sees a world mired in impermanence. Ooh. By mighty oh, lightning, that's so she rules cool. over the transience. Trivial yearning and petty passion, they vanish like a mist, but the Shogun pursues. Unfettered and unperturbed eternity. Oh, beat drop? Only through eternity are you closest to the heavenly principles. What? Ah, my God! Trap beat bit. Lightning is eternal. The world is but shadow. I love myself some trap beats, bruh. <laughs> Where are you taking me, Mihoyo, with this music? Fantasy can only survive with an underlying reality. Ooh, it's her two selves. Going black and then going colored to reality the one that she switches into. That's stillness buried pretty dope. deep beneath the illusion. This is eternity. Point to oblivion! Ooh. Oh, I love that transitions back into that. I love it when it flips. Ooh, the transitions are so crazy. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, all the visions. Wow. Oh. The raven's back. Waking world, you seem woven from the stuff of dreams. All shall fade away. Was that a haiku? It sounds like she's saying a haiku. Maybe was she saying a haiku this whole time? Holy crap. Okay. Well, we're definitely going to have to go through that all over again. <laughs> all right. Just for one time. I want to repeat the beat drop because I'm a really big fan of trap beats and if you include some traditional Japanese instrumentals in there, that's it. That's my ticket to Celestia, bruh. Only Ooh. through eternity are you closest to the heavenly principles. It's so sinister and like powerful. It really showcases you how determined Dryden is and how how her strength matches up with her determination to carry through her mission of reaching that eternity, which is so, so nice. The whole music, it really fits the tone of the character and the character teaser as well. We enter this teaser with a raven flying onto someone and that someone we find out that it is Yae Miko. We end this teaser with this same, I'm guessing this is the same same crow what that means i don't know now i'm not even gonna pretend that i know a lot about ravens or the universal mythology behind these animals but what i can tell you is that i know a little bit about ravens from my english class in high school what i can remember back in high school crows or ravens usually ravens are known to be keepers of secrets like they're the masters of keeping secrets and they're also are the messengers between heaven and earth from man and gods and from the dead and the living and a big part of ravens or crows is that it signifies imminent change or some kind of immersions happening in your life honestly my very first thought when i saw this scene is that yae miko is sending this crow or this raven to someone else like she's planting a message on this bird and then sending it to somewhere else and later on we find out that person is bomb it was, it's kind of confusing because the raven is coming from somewhere else it enters 
from like above to from somewhere and to Yae Miko. And it looks like they're already communicating. There's like a message there. So either this raven already came from Baal and then went to Miko, Yae Miko, and then back to Baal again, or maybe it came from somewhere else. We don't know. Where did the crow or the raven originally come from before it went to Yae Miko? Let's just say that Yae Miko really is trying to communicate with Baal. Why didn't the raven or this crow just go up to her at this point? if they were really trying to communicate. I also really like this transition. They've never used this ever, I don't think, in any of the teasers. This is super cool. Maybe Miho is trying to tell us that there are two different universes or worlds that the Raiden Shogun is seeing, one that is above and one that is below. Also this thing, I just noticed that this kind of looks like some kind of portal. Is she summoning a portal? I think she did the same thing in the previous teasers, but I just never processed it to look like a portal until now. Also this, only through eternity are you closest to the heavenly principles. And I kid you not, when I heard or read heavenly principles, I literally had to think where I've heard that. I had to juggle my memory so hard, it was working overtime, my brain is fried. And I finally remembered who it could be. And it is the very first god that we see in the beginning of the game, aka the unknown god, also aka the sustainer of the heavenly principles. So I wonder if she's trying to reach eternity because she's trying to get to this unknown god. Maybe she's trying to communicate with this unknown god? If the Raiden Shogun really does want to connect with the unknown god, or if they already have a connection and she's just trying to find maybe like a stable kind of communication with the unknown god then i feel like miho is deliberately purposely putting up some kind of synchronicity between these two worlds which is honkai impact and genshin because if you're a honkai impact fan if you play the game you know that mei raiden and kiana kazlana have a very tight-knit connection from those two people who do they mirror in the genshin universe none other than raiden shogun and the unknown god i'm saying mirror because they look exactly alike but could that be the only cause for her switch of personalities Maybe there's something else, a deeper meaning, and hopefully we'll be able to find that out in the Archon Quest that's coming up in this new patch. I'm pretty sure the Genshin community already has noticed this a lot of times, but whenever she enters into that realm or I guess switches personalities, it seems like there's like a actual physical switch that we could see, like from color to black and white. This is so cool. And now they actually show you how she transitions from that personality, one personality, to the other. The light in her eyes just shines like crazy. That's a really good representation of her switching personalities, I feel like. I feel so bad for this mirror maiden. She's just getting massacred by the Electro Archon. Ooh! Oh, I just noticed something. I think the Hersher of Thunder has the same moveset. Ah! That's pretty dope. Okay, mihoyo. I see you. All right, guys. Why am I raising my hand? Let's put that down. Thank you guys for watching this video. And if you enjoyed it, please do give a like. And if you want to be part of the community, go ahead and subscribe. And I'd appreciate it. Oh, yeah, Mio, before you leave, are you going to be rolling for the ball banner? Well, I'm very glad you asked because, yes, I am rolling for the ball banner. But the thing is, it's going to be with a little bit of a plot twist. I am going to be streaming the other events at twitch.tv slash combo meal why is this finger up so go and follow me there if you want to see me enjoy this patch or if you just want to hang out honestly i'll see you later goodbye